Um, welcome back. Kind of been gone for a while, but we're here in quarantine, of course. Um, you've seen the title, you know this is going to be a beard stippling tutorial. Before we get started, I'm just going to kind of tell you what you're going to need. Um, a cream palette of some sort, um, so you can mix uh, brown and black. You will be needing an alcohol palette. You can use choose one or the other. They're both gonna give you different techniques and different looks depending on what stipple you're looking for. You will need a bigger stipple sponge. Let's see if it will focus. Maybe. There we go. So you'll need either a bigger stipple sponge for the cream or a small this camera or a small stipple sponge for come back to me come back to me or a large stipple sponge for the alcohol that does mean you do need 99% alcohol to activate the alcohol palette may or may not be able to come by that but we can make do with what we have and you will also be needing a translucent powder of some sort anyone is really gonna work for this doesn't matter too much so why don't I zoom you in and we're gonna do half my face cream half my face alcohol okay here we go voice over me now so we're gonna start with contouring our face men typically have a much stronger jawline and a stronger cheekbone structure so taking our contour powder we are going to chisel out our face, uh, jawline, and cheekbones. Um, find a picture of a man that you want to look at because that's what we're gonna base all our beard laying on. Now we're on to mixing our colors. You're gonna take a little bit of brown and black onto a palette, more brown than black, and mix it into a nice little dark chocolate um, color. You can keep mixing as you go. Start with a little bit. You don't wanna waste your colors. You can also use this technique that I'm about to show you on how to do a freckling. The color is going to be a little bit different. Um, it's a little bit warmer. So for that, you're going to want to mix uh, brown, yellow, and red until you have like a nice, really warm brown. And when you do the stipple, it's just a little bit of a lighter touch, I find. So pulling up your photo one more time, we are going to start stippling our beard. Taking your larger stipple sponge, you're going to grind it into your cream and then dabbing on to somewhere that doesn't have as much paint to try and really work it in so you're not gonna get any big blobs or big stipples on your face. Um, looking at your photo, you can see that men's beards are typically typically concentrated along the jawline and right under the cheekbone. So that's where we're going to really heavily uh, make sure our stipple is the strongest, while that area between is a lot lighter. Make sure when you're, you are stippling to alter the way the sponge is facing so you're not going to get any repetitive patterns that can giveaway that your stipple is fake. We have this mostly done. Just go over a little bit. Make sure you're bringing it down onto your neck too. If you've gone it on your ears or your lips, just take a little Q-tip and wash it off there. Just make sure you keep referring to your reference photo that's really going to help guide you in this stipple and process. Put 
the cream looks like. Your benefit for working with cream makeup is your working time with the product is significantly longer than alcohol. You have a little bit of that heavier shadow look. And it's a little bit easier for beginners because if you mess up, you can go in with a Q-tip and fix it up very easily. Not as much with alcohol. I'm doing this with alcohol paints now. Same kind of deal. We're going to be mixing uh, brown, black, like two flesh tones, not quite a true brown. I mix them in the lid of my palette. You can mix them on a metal palette, anything that you kind of have. Putting a little bit of alcohol as you go. I also do have your color finally mixed. You may want to add a little bit more black, a little bit more brown. Remember, the drying time on this is significantly faster, so you want to make sure you work very quickly and effectively with this product. And we're going to do the same thing that we did with the cream on the alcohol side, darker along the jawline and underneath the cheekbone. The stipple is usually a little bit lighter and I'm using the finer um, sponge at this point too. All of this done. Obviously the alcohol when it doesn't move, you don't need to set it at all because alcohol will dry down and it's done for the day. Really great for any kind of long photo shoot day or any long convention day. Powder side, not so much. So how we're gonna set this to make sure it's not gonna move is we're gonna bake it. So you are going to load up any kind of puff, brush, any sort of tool and you're going to just smack it on till it's pretty much completely white and then you're gonna wait a bit and as soon as like mm, some time has passed 30 seconds a minute you can brush it all off another trick is dampening a piece of paper towel and just lying it on top and that will help seal it don't forget to spray some setting spray at the end too, and we will zoom in and take a closer look at both beards. You can kind of see what the difference looks like. I did mess up a few little spots on the alcohol side. That's the other issue. It's really hard to fix. Um, alcohol mistakes besides cream mistakes which are a lot easier to fix and I decided since I really like this look I was gonna throw on a wig here and here we are this is my final look here I wanted to thank you all for tuning into this video if you liked it, I would love if you leaved, left me a little bit of love, um, or you subscribed, or you commented, whatever you choose. If not, I will see you around in the next video, and have a good day, and stay safe and healthy up th out there, guys.